scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Deliverance from God is based on a response to praise. Deliverance from God is based on number one, a cry for mercy. Number two is based on heartfelt prayer. Number three, deliverance from God to the saints is based on a response to praise. Psalm 18, verse 1 to 3. Psalm 18, verse 1 to 3. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. Verse 2. He says, the Lord is my rock and my fortress. He calls him my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler, the horn of my salvation and my high tower. Let's read verse 3 together. Ready? One to read. I will call upon the Lord, he says, who is worthy to be praised. By that formula, hold on. By that formula of calling upon the Lord and adding it with praise, shall I be saved from my enemy. He was revealing a formula that I will call upon the Lord who is deserving of praise. So by prayer and praise shall I be saved from my enemy. If you are Paul and Silas and you find yourself in the prison, it is prayer and praise. Exodus chapter 15 verse 1 Please give it to us. Let's hurry up. They sang Moses and the children of Israel. Then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song unto the Lord. Watch the song that they sang. This was after deliverance. Watch this now. They had just been delivered from the Red Sea. I will sing unto the Lord, he says, for he had triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider has been thrown into the sea. Verse 2. He says, the Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. He is my God. I will prepare him a habitation, my father's God, and I will exalt him. Verse 3. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. These are people singing. Singing the presence of God. Verse 4. We're reading to 11. He said, Pharaoh's chariots and his hosts had he cast into the sea. His chosen captains also are drowned in the sea verse 5 the depths have covered them they sank into the bottom of a stone 6 thy right hand O God is become glorious in power I hope you know this is a song thy right hand O God had dashed in pieces the enemy and in the greatness of thy excellency has thou overthrown them that rose up against thee Thou settest forth thy wrath, which consumed them as stubble. Eight. And with the blast of thy nostrils, the waters were gathered together. The flood stood up right in a heap, and the depths were congealed in the heart of the sea. Nine. The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the spoil. My loss shall be satisfied upon them. I will draw my sword, my hand shall destroy them. Verse 10. It says, Thou didst blow with thy wind, the sea covered them. They sank as leads in the mighty waters. Who is like unto thee, O God, among the gods? 
who is like the glorious in holiness read the remaining part fearful in praises as a result doing wonders God is fearful in praises and the moment he arises as that warrior the next thing you see are his wonders who is like unto thee O God among the gods it says glorious in holiness fearful in praises listen carefully ladies and gentlemen I can tell you by the power of the Holy Spirit and I can tell you from the integrity of scripture and experience praise is a deep mystery that is able to overturn possibilities and grant the be insist that the believer stands at the point of victory these are the forces of the spirit that help and guide men now let's finish the scripture that we left up in Acts chapter 16 we read down to 24 now let's start 25 at this point Paul and Silas are in prison then the Bible says at midnight Paul and Silas prayed is that in your Bible and they sang praises unto God it was so loud the prisoners heard them watch the God of heaven now suddenly Shibaka soprandi kipayata. Ah, this is someone's testimony. Suddenly, it says there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately all doors were opened, and everyone's bands were loosed. Read on 27. And the keeper of the prison awaking out of his sleep and seeing the prison doors open he drew his sword and would have killed himself supposing that the prisoners had fled 28 but Paul cried with a loud voice saying do thyself no harm we are all here 29 then he called for a light and sprang in and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Silas here it is he brought them out and said Silas what must I do to be saved? Anything can turn for your salvation when you know how to engage the mercy of God, you know how to engage prayer, and you know how to engage praise. 31. It says, They said unto him, Believe on the Lord Jesus, and thou shalt be saved, and thy house. And they spake unto him the word of the Lord, and to all that were in his house reading to 34 and it took them the same hour of the night and washed their stripes this was the jailer and was baptized and he and all his straight away the last verse and when he had brought them into his house he set meat before them and rejoiced believing in God with all his house for we know that all things work together not for everybody to them that love the Lord and to those who are the called according to his purposes so Jesus is teaching the disciples prophetically not just theologically he's teaching them because their lives and their faith adventures will be plagued with many many challenges that come with open doors and he said in your prayer the moment daily bread begins to come the moment doors and dimensions both in the spirit and in life start getting opened you must master the art of mercy you must master prayer you must master praise these mysteries you must use to surround yourself with like chariots perpetually you are one who walks in consciousness of God's mercy you are one who walks in consciousness of the ministry of prayer that you can lock your office as a CEO and dedicate 30 minutes and you are praying and there is a board meeting that is coming with all kinds of people coming from across the globe you would think all that you would need is brain work some of the people coming for that meetings are coming with their charms and mediums like Rachel remember when Rachel was leaving the house of Laban she took the gods of her fathers with her just because you see people wearing suit or dressing nice the, all their gods, their, their fraternities with dark powers, negotiating the destinies of men upon the table of greatness. You cannot go there being casual. Hear me. Many of you, God wants to lift you. You are trusting God to become a kingdom financier. Have you heard about the king of Tyre? 
the one who sits upon the mountain of commerce of the earth you cannot come and transact business except you sell your soul he did that to jesus there is a level of wealth you cannot attain unto just by buying and selling believe me if you are in this kingdom the person speaking to you is not in ignorance by the grace of god i know a bit about finances i can tell you there are certain heights in the spirit it is not buying and selling that takes you there there is a covenant transaction between men and spirits do you believe that <laughs> please believe oh if you suddenly return a billionaire tomorrow people will not say what did you do they'll say where did you go to this kind of result is not about what you have done again where you you must have gone somewhere and they are right a man goes to bed and sleeps in the night and has a dream in that dream he receives an impartation of an understanding heart and then he's also given access to wealth like no other person and then he wakes up and his fame spreads abroad resources start coming remember it will come through men but it is still controlled from the realm of the spirit when job lost everything that he had job lost everything but he did not lose his relationship with god and his ability to sustain to capture the mysteries of the spirit in job chapter 42 and verse 10 the bible says god turned the captivity of job when he prayed for his friends and the bible says the lord gave job twice as much as he had i'm interested in knowing how that twice came the bible is not silent about it 11 it tells us what happened that there came unto him all his brethren and all his sisters and all they that had been of his acquaintance before it meant something drove them away from him now they came and did eat bread with him and in his house and they bemoaned him and comforted him over the evil that the lord had brought upon him here's the secret and every man gave him a piece of money and an earring of gold all blessings come from god through men to men that's how he got twice everything he lost abraham who was broke how did god prosper him he went to egypt and then Abimelech was going to take his wife and God warned him and said if you touch that man's wife you're already dead and Abimelech said sorry I will not only leave your wife I will give you gold and all kinds of things and he left with it listen ladies and gentlemen your possibilities in this kingdom are based on the mysteries that you know and you can handle in the spirit dominion and stature is is possible when you stand upon this mystery these things are not cunningly devised fables they are the mysteries that men transact with in the spirit and it produces the possibilities that we enjoy in the earth realm hallelujah jesus said deliver us from evil the doors of persecution will open as the doors of increase come to the doors of witchcraft manipulation and attacks will come a day will come where you don't need to ask if anybody has taken your name to a shrine what you'll be asking is how many not has it gone there there is a level in the spirit where while you are calling upon the name of the lord there are people who will be praying perpetually there are realms where Satan does not want you to backslide. He wants you to die. Because even in your backsliding state, you are still dangerous. He wants you to die. Are we together now? Ladies and gentlemen, please hear me. What you have learned and you are learning are irrefutable secrets of the kingdom that guarantee your rising. But if I did not teach you what you learned today, many of you will be surprised that God will call you dear Mary thou favored one and the next thing here comes the scribes and the Pharisees asking you questions and saying this vision that came without the assistance of a man you need to explain it how did that pregnancy happen without the natural process of conception they will say how did you become a millionaire without cutting corners are you sure are you really sure The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 3 from verse 10 and 11 to the intent he says 
that now unto principalities and powers in heavenly places all of the things when you read from three Ephesians 3 and verse 3 Paul began to speak how that by revelation it was made known unto him the mystery as he wrote in few words verse 4 reading to 5 it says whereby when ye read ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ which in ages past it says were not known to the sons of men but had now be revealed to his holy apostles and prophets even by the spirit go to verse 9 he now says that this grace was given to him to make all men and see what is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the world had been hid in God who created all things in Christ to the intent now verse 8 that is why God grants access to revelations so that unto principalities and powers in heavenly places might be made known by the church the manifold wisdom of God the manifold wisdom of God Give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day access to the doors of destiny that needs to be opened. Give us this day access to superior levels of influence across the cosmos. Give us this day access to levels of the anointing superior end time mantles. But Lord, as you grant us access to this day, we pray that you lead us not into temptation and then please help them deliver he says deliver us from the evil that comes with growth deliver us from the evil that comes with speed deliver us Elijah you have been sent as a tishbite to speak over Israel but beware your rising is also the rising of Jezebel she will look for you. The battle was over two people. I have the king in partnership with that she goddess encapsulated in a woman called Jezebel. Jezebel was not a woman. She was a spiritual system of rebellion. It's an extension of the antichrist system. That is why it's a spirit that only tries when it is connected to government. That's why she stayed with Ahab. The same spirit manifested through Herodias when Herod came because John the Baptist now resurfaced in the spirit of Elijah. Listen to me. If you are Elijah, expect Jezebel she's watching you don't you think you would just stand and prophesy the prophets of Baal are the easy part of the deal but that she goddess is vicious Elijah ran away from her a man that caught fire to consume others are we together I told you with the arrival of mantles destinies there are many, many, many attacks. Ah, I just said mantles and I just saw fire. This is what I saw in the spirit. As I said mantles, I just saw fire. Mantles, 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 mantles. Because there are doors that God is opening. Ladies and gentlemen, please hear me. There are dimensions that have not yet been made access, accessible to anyone in your family. Now you are coming from behind like Joseph. Not the first, but the chosen. Not the first, but the chosen. And those doors are about, you have mastered the art of saying Ephata for the doors to open. You have to understand how to now hold the sword. Because let me tell you the truth. Warriors do not just speak. Warriors fight. Warriors do not just speak. They fight. They are men and women who must know how to hold the sword of the spirit and fight with valiance. You can't turn back. Your turning back will be the destruction of a generation. It's a scene then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us. And it says to run with perseverance. There is no going back, not for the warrior. You master the art of using the sword and you fight with valiance. Say, blow the trumpet in Zion. 
sound the alarm upon my holy mountain and he begins to describe a people so vicious he said before them is as a garden of eden behind them a desolate wilderness these are men that can fight i have fought a good fight he says hear me whether you are in ministry or you are in business provided doors are open don't just wear suit carry the armory of a warrior as you enter through those doors a time will come you will need to remove a ceo regalia and put on the garment of a warrior there are giants on every mountain be like caleb stand tall oh david do not let goliath scare you you can take him down not by the sling but by the covenant that you stand upon he said, you come to me with your bows and your spears, but I come to you in the name of the Lord God of the armies of Israel, in whom you have defiled. Listen, we're about to pray, but ladies and gentlemen, please hear me. The prayer deliver us from evil some of you the doors that are opening right now you came to church with questions about the happenings in your life what is suddenly happening to my health the moment they made me a ceo they said i have high blood pressure where is it coming from welcome as you encounter the giants that sit on those mountains it is not for you to start discussing warriors don't discuss they fight take up your arsenals the work God has given you will not just keep rising like that and then the devil folds his arms he will come as many things Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I remember years ago, there was a gentleman who was going to get an appointment. I think he was in, in an oil and gas company. This guy had labored and worked hard. Everybody in the family had struggled financially and in destiny. They were sincere people. And then this guy kept engaging this mistress. Finally, a job that was going to come and open a door to wipe the tears of people. Do you know what happened? This guy slept and suddenly started having all kinds of funny dreams. This was according to him. And then they would, they, he was supposed to bring a report of medicals. And there were specific hospitals they were to go to. From nowhere, this guy was diagnosed with something that was going to make him lose that job. I remember very clearly. He reached me and said, I've never been like this. I, this, this was my genotype. This is my blood group. This is this. Where did this one come from? And I told him, I said, my friend, let me tell you, if you are interested in that job, you need to know that Satan has determined a threat that in your rising is the rising of many. Instead of fighting everybody, he should fight you. Hear me. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. There are men that are equal to nations. Instead of Satan fighting nations, he will focus on fighting them. If he can fight the mantle upon your life, that will be equivalent to fighting a million people across the globe. If he can fight your ministry, it is cheaper than fighting all who will rise from you. If he can fight your business, he is by extension fighting all those who look up to you for direction and inspiration. It's time to fight the fight of faith. I told that gentleman, I said, I will pray for you. The devil is a liar. Don't believe that nonsense. Here is an opportunity for your rising to help wipe the tears of your family. Hallelujah. There are many of you here 
who are victims of the realities of foundations and God wants to lift your family not just you oh Joseph the attack is not on you the attack is on the deliverer who will save Egypt Israel it is not about you Joseph one day you will become the second in command you will have access to preserving the destiny of a nation Moses it is not about you Satan is too serious to fight individuals he fights dreams he fights prophetic programs he fights mantles Oh prophet hear me the battle you are going through has nothing to do with you it is a mantle that you are carrying an apostolic and a prophetic mantle Satan was there when prophecy was spoken over you Satan was there when declarations were made it was not angels alone he was there he had the declarations listen did you ever ask why Satan kept moving through the scribes and the Pharisees to ask Jesus who he was they met John the Baptist and said are you that one what was Satan looking for he didn't say why are you here there, there was a person they were looking for and John kept confusing them who are you I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness saying repent make straight his ways and then Jesus comes you know why Satan killed John because he knew the Jesus and he did not say it when Jesus was finally ordained and commissioned he ensured that like Jezebel wanted the head of Elijah the head of John the Baptist went for it I shared with you my visions years ago I was praying one night and then the roof the ceiling of my room just disappeared and I'm seeing this creature that is standing before me a giant creature looking like a dinosaur having a tail that had its own life that could be disconnected from the creature and still be alive bulgy eyes one eye was looking like the head of a man and he was looking with fierce anger and spoke fluently so you think you can bring God's people into abundance I have met demons I have met spirits it is not only angels I have met I have met demons I have met spirits I can tell you one thing with the devil he's determined when he finds out that there is prophecy on your life when he finds out that you're opening the door is the rising of many get ready the king of Tyre he will wait for you Elijah there are bands of prophets waiting to come and frustrate you but thanks be to God which causes us always to triumph thanks be to God hear me the secret now is in Job 38 and verse 33 it says knowest thou the ordinances of heaven and canst thou establish the dominion thereof in the earth do you know the principles by which the mysteries by which the heaven regulates itself and can you reproduce that reality in the earth this is what Jesus meant when he said your kingdom come and your will be done capture the principles the modus operandi of the spirit and reproduce it within your life within your sphere and you truly will begin to walk like a God upon the earth Psalm 82 and verse 5 he says they know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course verse 6 says I have said ye are God and all of you not some are children of the most high the next verse says but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of the princes I made up my mind that as far as it depends on me as far as it depends on me I will not only force those doors to open that everyone behind me it says I and the children that the Lord has given me 
we are for signs and for wonders you are not the only one who came from a bad background find out where Jesus came from Nathaniel said can anything good come out of Nazareth and Jesus did not say you are lying because the most popular Nazarene that they knew died in a very painful way the man called Samson that there was a spirit that followed great Nazarenes even though they were people who had a covenant with God and would just destroy them at the prime of their life Nathaniel said don't waste your time following Jesus there is something in his foundation his success will not last and Jesus sees such a man and says an Israelite indeed in whom there is no guile in other words from the sincerity of his heart what he's saying is true I know it is true that people who come from where you are from never rise beyond a certain threshold it is true until your access to the mysteries of the kingdom rewrites that script I know it is true that certain people never attain onto a level of wealth and abundance with a kingdom mindset it looks like the only way you live is by begging all the days of your life anointed but you are a beggar and so the spirit wants but you can arise and rewrite certain things rewrite certain things rewrite certain things every decree can change let me tell you the truth every decree can change even when Haman died the king had already stamped a decree that permitted the death of the Jews so the, the enemy had gone but the system was still going to cause their defeat and Esther came and told the king you are a king you are the one who wrote the first one you can write another decree again we change decrees by writing another decree who wrote the decree that you will not rise I am also a king and a priest unto my God and I can take the advantage of that king priest dimension in partnership with the spirit and right that from this moment henceforth everybody rises that from this moment henceforth everybody rises that from this moment henceforth God is glorified in everybody connected to me where the word of a king is the Bible says there is power hear me if the power from your royalty does not speak it means that your scepter of honor and authority has not been given to you or the consecration that ordains you as a king is not there or you have refused to use your authority to declare but hear me oh David when the oil comes and the scepter comes and the crown comes you are king 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 kings declare by speaking kings rewrite things he said my heart is indicting a good matter yeah I speak of excellent things that my tongue is the pen of a ready writer I can rewrite possibilities in my life and in the lives of others Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Shabala Sodabana Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Feel this place
next one minute I'd like you to begin to pray seriously in the spirit go ahead and begin to generate energy in your spirit man in the name of Jesus, overcome us by the blood of the Lamb. Lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. The evil that comes when doors open, the evil that comes when mantles come, the evil that comes when increase comes. Shada barakata braskata belagatos. Someone pray. Shada belagata belada balada bosh. Kapra kata belagata baska da branda kata berekos katiata. Krafa kata balakata braska da belagata. Rakata banda braska da belagata braska da belagato shatariata. Enkra kata berekata berekos koto balagato shatariata. Hallelujah. Just two prayer points and we're done for tonight. I'd like you to begin to invoke the mercy of God across every aspect of your life that it seems the devil is taking advantage of. Oh, by the mercy of God, the Lord rebuke you. I call for the mercy of God. Someone go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Invoke the mercy of God. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, the precious blood. I plead the blood, the blood, eternal saving blood. I don't have to cry. Ah. Rise. Yes, I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, the precious blood. I plead the blood, the blood, eternal saving blood. I know. your mouth and declare Satan the Lord rebuke you I come by the authority of the king and priest in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord rebuke you I invoke the power of Elohim I rebuke you over my life over my health someone pray the Lord rebuke you the Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. The covenant of the God of David fights you in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus. I call upon the holder of the key of David that opens a door that no man can shut and shut a door that no man can open. He has opened the door. No man can shut it. Go ahead and declare. He has opened the door. No man can shut it. Speak over your ministry. Speak over your family. Satan, thus far have you come. No further shall you go. The Lord is against you. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is against you. gentlemen please hear me please hear me listen listen many of you will run sometimes this year and come and listen to this message again because the prophecy for open doors is not complete until there is a training to know how to become a person of stature you need the door to remain open for those behind you to come. There are giants on every mountain. That is why you are a warrior. He said, I have fought a good fight. I have kept the race. You are not only a runner. When you are in the field, dressed like an athlete, but you are in the battleground, don't wear athletic clothes. You have to carry the regalia of a warrior. You are both a warrior, you are an athlete, and you are a keeper. Hallelujah. Hear me. For many of you under the sound of my voice here tonight and falling across the globe, the Spirit of God is depending on your consistency for the liberty of many people. Any laxity in your pursuit will not only cost you alone. The realm of the Spirit taught you to be your grandfather. He started on a good note, but eventually laxity and frustration. There was zeal, but no accurate knowledge of the precepts of the Spirit. So he could not survive the viciousness. Then it came to your father. Some of them did their best as far as they could go. Now the baton has come upon you. You may be young, you may be the last, but by no means the least. The mantle is still on you. God is counting on you right now. Will you be the one to end this cycle and start a new one? He said, are you the one or should we look for another? Are you the one who has come now? Are you the prophet we have been waiting for? Or should we look for another? Are you the apostle that our grandfather prophesied that a day will come in this city, a young man will arise with fire and power? Are you the one or should we expect another? Who is yet to come are you the businessman that prophecy has come upon that you will be the one through your resources to liberate nations hear me the bible says there remain a rest for the people of god any day your faith selects is the day you make your rest it says let us therefore labor to enter that rest and the way we labor is found in Jeremiah 6 16 it says to stand in the way and then he says to see and ask for the old path wherein is a good way when you find it he said walk in it 
and for sure you will enter your Sabbath. Please hear me. As we prepare to round up tonight, the Spirit of the Lord is speaking to someone. I am still depending on you. I am still depending on you. I am still depending on you. Moses, do not prolong prophecy by 30 more years because of the laxity in your training. When the prophecy came to Abraham, it was 400 years. Match the prophecy with the speed of your training so that you do not add 30 more years and make God look like a liar. If you are slow, you will delay prophecy and time will be added and men will suffer. You must be up and doing at a cutting edge to match up with what has said. He said, I, Daniel, understood by books. He opened the book to see where it was written that the captivity of Israel in Babylon would come. And when he found the time, he postured himself in fasting and prayer for 21 days until Gabriel was sent from heaven to come and bring him word. And while he was coming, the prince of Persia the spiritual wickedness that resides in the heavenlies he stopped him and he maintained in persistence an archangel michael he came and it prevailed not and he had now come he said i am come to give you understanding he gave him understanding and he knew the times that the captivity of god's people would come to an end In this season, we must master the art of reading the writings on the wall. You must have the eyes of the Spirit that when you see things written on the wall, you must discern what the Spirit is saying. The Bible says, He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith. Is it not in your Bible that the Spirit speaketh expressly? The Spirit speaketh expressly. It says that in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith and they shall give heed to seducing spirits and the doctrine of demons. But the most important thing is that the spirit speaketh expressly. We must obtain grace that our eyes be washed with eyes of and that our ears be attuned to the frequency of the spirit to know what God is saying per time season let us walk after the order of the sons of Issachar the Bible says they are men that had an understanding of the times and they knew what Israel ought to do as a result their brethren were at their command there are names there are titles there are legends and tales of strength but only a shoe will reign forever. To his kingdom there'll be nowhere. There are names, there are names, there are titles, there are legends and tales of strength. I stand by this prophetic and apostolic mantle and I declare over your life in the name of the resurrected Christ who gave gifts to men that every door that has stood closed over you in the name of Jesus I come by the rod of a higher priesthood and I speak to that door Ephata be open Ephata be open Ephata be open in the name of Jesus it says and thou O Lord will teach my hands to war and my fingers to fight i decree and declare in the name of jesus the strategy for victory that you have now received obtain it and last through your open doors last through your open doors last through your open doors no decline no retrogression in the name of jesus christ you hear me there are some of you that found certain treasures but they fell and they were missing the bible says the kingdom is like a man who had treasure but one fell the first thing he did was to light a candle and the second thing he did was to get a broom and with the candle and the broom he started searching 
I know it is somewhere, I don't know exactly, but with the candle that has been lit and the broom, he started sweeping. The Bible says that is the character of the kingdom. You never find things until by light and the assistance of the prophetic. Alas, master, for it was borrowed. He said, where fell it? And he said, here, I want to speak to someone because you see, let me tell you, restoration resides within the office of the prophetic. Whether it is the wife of the Shunam a Shunammite woman having her son back to life or the axe head falling or restoration to Samaria. It is by a prophet that the Lord brings the nation of Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet they are preserved. He said, I have spoken to you in similitudes. I have multiplied visions even by the prophets. I decree and declare in the name that is above all names, everything that has left you but not by God, in the name that is above all names, I declare with accuracy and precision, let it return back to you. Let it return back to you. Opportunities, graces, let it return back to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Please hear me. The Bible says everyone that knocks, the door will open. I told you when you knock, it is because there is someone at the other side of the door. And it is possible that he can be manipulated like the man who slept with his children to say you are my friend but it's too late. I cannot open the door to give you what you want. It takes the favor of God coming upon a man to compel people to bend over backwards for your sake. And Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 says, And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, and it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not go empty. Esther chapter 2 and verse 15, be part. And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. Psalms 44 and verse 3, they got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their arm save them. 44 and verse 3, it says, but thou thy right hand, it says, because thou showed a favor towards them. The favor of God is not about money. The favor of God gives you access to the hearts of men. The heaven, even the heaven of heavens belong to the Lord. But hear me, the earth has he given to the sons of men. If God says yes and men say no, yes remains in the realm of the spirit. It is the spirit and the bride that says come, not the spirit alone. The system of operation within the cosmos will take the partnership of the spirit and a willing bride. If the spirit says Jesus come and Mary refuses to give her womb, he would have to look for another person again. She had to say be it unto me, be it unto me. Luke chapter 1 and verse 45. It says, be it unto me. Blessed is she that believes, he told her. It says, for there shall be a performance of the things that were spoken unto her from the Lord. Mary, on hearing that mandate, she said, be it unto me according to your word. And that happened. For many of you, the spirit has been saying, come. The spirit has said, increase. The spirit has said, open doors. The spirit has said, fresh mantles. But the bride that will stand in partnership with the spirit to echo what is being said, has not spoken i stand as one sent because the spirit has said come i also say come for you in the name of jesus because the spirit has said rise i prophesy rise because the spirit has said shine i prophesy shine because the spirit has said go forward i prophesy go forward because the spirit has said don't go down i prophesy you shall not go down in the name of jesus christ and I speak to you according to Job. Job 5, he said, God will deliver you from six things. Yes, seven things. One of it is the scourging tongues of men. Every tongue that rises up against you, I call upon the God of Jeshurun, the one who rides upon the wings of the wind. I decree and declare it falls in judgment in the name of Jesus Christ. Can we take one minute to pray for Nigeria? Are we responsible enough to lend our contribution? We have to pray. The election is by the weekend. It is everybody's business. We are going to cry. 
we need God to arise as a deliverer. Are we together? Yes. I don't do partisan politics, but it is my desire. The prophetic and the apostolic represent the foundations upon which anything is built. Even in heaven, where Satan is not there, the foundation of the heavens has the 12 names of the apostles written there. God designed his system such that after Christ, the cornerstone, the next that you meet is the apostolic and the prophetic. That is a proper architecture for a building that is built such that the gates of hell shall not prevail. That means for any nation that is built well, the apostolic and the prophetic in partnership with the Holy Spirit have a right to speak. Let me show you a scripture. Am I wasting your time? Ezra chapter 4 and verse 16. We are praying for Nigeria. Ezra chapter 4. Give it to us please. And verse 16. 16. Did I get that right? Is it 4 or 5? Ezra chapter 6. My apologies. I just searched for it now quickly. Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14. The Bible says... And the elders of the Jews built it and they prospered not through the dexterity of their intelligence and architecture. They prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo. And they built it and finished it according to the commandment of the God of Israel. Hear me. The God of Israel commanded it but he took the prophetic and the apostolic to speak it while they were building that's how it works there are people who will be voting but there are prophets who will be speaking and there is a God who commands are we together now to prophesy alone and fold your arms uh -uh, there must be builders even though God has granted Nehemiah favor you must stand on the wall of Jerusalem to build and the Bible says he built with such dexterity with one hand he held the sword because of the presence of men like Sambalas and Tobias the spirit of the Antichrist you will always find them within a system can you sing for us the national anthem of Nigeria in one minute do you still remember because many people don't know the national anthem again you must sing it whether you know it or not all right so Rise up and throw. listen listen very carefully it does not matter who wins if people die it is not worth it did you hear what I said whatever political party and what, whoever wins if somebody has to lose her child if somebody has to lose her life if an innocent person has to be maimed up and down because of the wickedness of people Ladies and gentlemen, it is not worth it. The prayer, more than just praying and say, Lord, intervene, is let there be peace. Let every demonic manipulation of darkness 
to lead to death or violence lord by the mercy of god let it not happen lift your voice and pray lift your voice in one minute father we cry for peace is someone praying we cry for peace we cry for peace we cry for peace every polling unit in the name of jesus we cry for peace Lord, let lives not be lost in the name of Jesus. Let lives not be lost in the name of Jesus. Anyone planning wickedness, anyone planning violence, any groups of persons walking to kill, to steal, to destroy, in the name of Jesus, we release the forces of judgment. We declare in the name of Jesus, that no plot to bring violence over the people in this land in the name of Jesus we declare it will not stand as responsible citizens in this nation we stand in partnership with heaven and we decree and declare grace hallelujah now I'd like you to pray one last prayer thank you for the time I'm stretching you a bit but this is the only chance we have to pray we are going to pray. Listen, it is not just the president that is required to change this nation. No matter how innocent or how wicked an individual is, I tell you sincerely, you need Jesus himself, the righteous, had to surround himself before he started with 12 disciples because he needed people he could send two by two. An individual on his own without a system that works. If you have a president that works and you have governors that are corrupt and wicked and devilish house members, don't forget that we're operating a democracy. So it matters. Everybody and every position for election is our business. Don't just focus on presidency alone. That is the mistake that many will make and then will allow all kinds of things a little living will spoil everything are we together now we are going to pray just one last prayer lord from the presidency down to local governments down to counselors down to house members the, you know at a state and federal level senators lord we pray anybody who does not mean this nation well root them out open your mouth and pray Anybody who does not mean our nation well, in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare, may they not get to the throne. From the presidency to the state level, the local governments, house members, state and federal, Lord, we pray that once again you breathe upon our nation. And in the name of Jesus, give us a chance to rise again. In the name of Jesus Christ father we thank you for tonight we thank you because even for Nigeria we pray deliver us from evil in the mighty name of Jesus Saturday oh God we are the polls again to decide the next four years extending to the net the next eight years of this nation Lord we cry in the name of Jesus beyond our wills and our desires we tap into the wisdom of the spirit you are the one who has seen through the eons of time and oh god among the candidates presented and among all the people you are the one that knows those that will be able to lead us well we will not judge by the flesh we only cry by the spirit that you arise and help us as a nation in the name of jesus christ Lord, we extend our prayers to all the arms and the tears of government. We pray, oh God, that Nigeria, like never before, will have righteous leaders who are sincere and serious. Amen. But Lord, more importantly, we pray and we cry unto you, let there be no violence. Amen. From the north to the south, the east and the west, the south, south, southeast, southwest, northeast, north central, not west let there be peace we pray for INEC we pray for the law enforcement agents we pray for the judiciary 
in the name of Jesus Christ we pray and cry let there be justice and equity I lend my voice oh God with every man woman of God everyone standing in the position of priesthood crying and praying over this nation we lend our voices and we lift it as a united team we cry Maranatha let your program come Maranatha let the purposes of God come in the name of Jesus Christ and father we pray that at the end of it when all is said and done please give this country peace give this country a chance to make progress in the name of Jesus we thank you for the word that you have brought to us tonight Lord we declare that perpetually we will walk in the consciousness of your mercy perpetually we will walk in the consciousness of the spirit of prayer and Lord in the name of Jesus our hearts remain praiseful in the name of Jesus Christ and for everyone who is trusting God for a turnaround in one area or the other in the name of Jesus let this week beginning be your week in Jesus name I pray now for everyone who is here desiring salvation I'm about to make the altar call let me your attention for a minute or two there are people here who are saying apostle hearing you teach I have seen the need for Jesus in my life perhaps you were invited and you came from far and from there and the many who are following from across the globe or you are here and you are saying apostle I confess that my ways with God have not been right I have derailed from the path of the spirit and I need restoration I'm going to count one to five our time is up I want to request that you pick your bags your Bibles everything you came to church with and as I count one to five very boldly don't wait for anybody to be the first make your way and come here to the front God is speaking to one person God bless you as you come God bless you as you come 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 koinonia is this the best you can do come come to Jesus he says but I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed unto him against that day he only keeps that which is committed unto him in John chapter 17 he says all that you have given me I have kept and none is lost except the son of perdition and that that scripture be fulfilled come you are about to step into the keeping hands of Jesus even the son of the living God if you are joining them you have a minute more please very quickly so that I lead you to pray this is the wisest decision that you can make on this side of God's kingdom let's celebrate them as they come God bless you God bless you God bless you hallelujah ladies and gentlemen my brothers and sisters thank you for making this bold declaration the Bible declares that as many who will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. May I request that you and those in all the overflows outside and then those who are following online who are making this decision, perhaps you are listening to a rebroadcast and whilst you heard me teach, the Spirit of God began to convict you. It is never too late to make Jesus Lord of your life and it's my joy and honor to lead you as you make that confession of faith may I request that you lift your right hand all of you above your head as a sign of surrender and please say this after me let it be from the depth of your heart say Lord Jesus tonight I have heard your word I believe that you are the son of God I believe that you died for me I believe that you rose again for my justification right now I receive Jesus into my heart as my Savior, as my Lord, and as my King. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. I am a child of God. I go from grace to grace and glory to glory. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Father, thank you for this ones. By the authority of scripture, I declare your sins forgiven. And in the name of Jesus, I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God. I declare that based on your confession, the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over your life. 
from tonight you go forward ever and backward never in jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen now let me please request that you just move to my right where there are counselors who will have a word with you very quickly just for a minute or two and then you'll be back let's honor them as they go my right which will be your left god bless you hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.